After watching Squid Game, I had to give this Korean honeycomb a try, and it's not too hard to make. I found that using a nonstick pan works best, but if you have a deep ladle, that can work too. Just watch for spillover. Put it on medium heat and add one to two tablespoons of sugar. You'll want to keep stirring until the sugar melts and you're left with a beautiful liquid, and then just add a dab, maybe a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. At this point, you'll want to turn off the heat and stir the baking soda in. It should bubble a bit and turn into this beautiful brown caramel color and make some pretty swirls into the sugar. Once the baking soda is mixed in, work fast to pour onto a well greased surface. This stuff is sticky, even with a non-stick surface. Using an equally greased spatula or other object, flatten it, slide it off, and then use your mold to indent the mixture. I just used a cap. Once it cools, you'll have your own Korean honeycomb to play with. I made mine a bit thin so it's easier to break, but be careful. One wrong break and you're gone! Fun fact, if you remember that Dalgona coffee trend way back when, this is pretty much Dalgona but in a cooked slash hardened form. It goes great in some coffee or other beverages.